everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Round Pond. What's it called? Round Pond Recreation Area. Yeah. And it's part of the Army Recreation Area at West Point Military Academy in, in New, York. New York. Yeah. And it's only um, it's separate from the actual post of West Point. So it's not on post, but we drove out to the commissary. It was less than 10 minutes. Of course, as a military campground, you do have to be authorized to stay, um, which basically means you need to have an ID card to get onto a military post. That's the same whether it's a recreation area or it's actually on the post itself. It still follows those same guidelines, but with one exception, since this is at West Point where there's a military academy, they also let parents and grandparents of cadets stay there. I didn't know that. Yeah. So they have about 28 RV sites spread around spread around a pond. They also have about 20 tent sites and 10 cabins that are all available to rent by those authorized to use the campground. Yeah, and this is a seasonal campground, so you can only stay there from April through mid-November. So just be aware of that when you are planning your travel. Um, and so what we want to do now is kind of take you through a tour of the campground and show you or the recreation area and show you what's there, what amenities are there, and also what the different sites look like. But the first thing you have to know about is the entry road. Yeah, the entry is steep. And so if you're if you're not pulling with an adequate size vehicle for like if you're towing, if you're in a, if you don't have the right power to <laughs> that you should have to be towing that it's going to be kind of a bear to get up the the hill that you need to go up to to get into the park and leaving the park it's pretty steep as well and there are some sharp turns in there so it's uh it's not difficult as long as you have the right equipment and you're confident in your driving otherwise you may want to don't make that your first campground, I guess, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, I guess another reason not to make it your first campground also is that they are back in sites only and water and power, no sewer. So all of those things are totally manageable, but probably not first trip out of the gate, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it it, it was an easy back in uh, to the sites. The road it, around the pond, of course, is narrow. But once you, once you get to your site, there's seemed like in all of them, there was plenty of room for backing backing into your site. Yeah, and uh, most of them were pr plenty long too. You can't reserve a specific site um, just because you want it. Sites are allocated based on the size of your RV. So make sure that um, you're letting them know what size you have so that you can get the right one and then you won't have a problem because there were like a couple of small like van style yeah. um sites that we would have it had been trickier for us um with the truck and the trailer yeah and some of the sites back or have like are on the lake side of the road mm -hmm. and the other ones like the site we were in are on the other side of the road uh backing basically a forest yeah. And so it was pretty quiet in our once we got into our site, I think because of all the trees and we didn't have anybody next to us. Yeah. And, and like he said, we were further around the circle. So as you look at the map, when you first come in um, where everyone's coming to the office, there are sites right there that back right up to the lake, which is really nice because you're right there at the lake, but you are also right up front where people who are going there just for day use to use that lake are because they do rent boats and the office uh, doubles as a fish and tackle shop. So you can fish there and then you can also rent volleyballs. They have a playground with a sand volleyball area. They have pavilions that you can rent. So there probably are quite a few people when the weather's nice that go there. Yeah, they also have a small beach with where you can also, it's roped for swimming, I believe. Mm -hmm. They even have lifeguard. So yeah. it's only open like during, I guess, you know, regular daytime hours when the lifeguard is there. What I really liked at this campground is the tent area because it's set away from where the RVs are and it had kind of its own little circle, I guess. Yeah. And they were big tent Huge. sites. Yeah. With mm -hmm. some great views 
if you get one of the ones at the top of the hill. So yeah, yeah, really nice uh, tent area, I thought. Yeah, and then also um, kind of near the tents, well, actually closer to the lake part, um, there were RV and cabin sites, and then up around the hill where we were, as you're coming around the exit, were also some more cabins and some RV sites. And the, as I said, the RV sites have um, water and 50, I think it was 50 amp electric. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then the cabins, they also have electricity, but they don't have any water. So you would have to use the bathhouse and the bathhouse is down by the um, beach area and the main, the main area down there. So, um, but there is a bathhouse with showers and with laundry. Um. Yeah, and the sites, I guess they varied in size. They like really said, yeah. was a, a huge range. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and our our site was perfect for us. I mean, it wasn't... Yeah, we had room for our truck and our trailer. And we had a big, like, patio, kind of, you know, natural, not paved patio, but it was huge with a picnic table and the fire pit. And when we say a pond, just to give you an idea of the size, we walked around the entire thing. Um, mm -hmm. Couldn't have been more than a mile. No. Around. No. So. I keep calling it a lake because to me it seemed a little lar larger than what I would think of as a pond. But I don't know. I guess it depends on where you're from. It was a it was a decent size. I felt like. Yeah, and then a, a couple of things like Julie said, it's like ten minutes on to the post onto the military academy proper i guess and they do have a museum there but they also have a px and gas station mm -hmm. with no diesel px <laughs> gas station commissary all the stuff you would find on a military base and then like i said they have the nice um, museum because it is a uh, an academy they have a lot of history there and then also you're just a short time away from New York City. Yeah, you could take the train. I'm sure there's a train near there. Sean's family actually is from not too far from there. And when we would go visit them, we would take the train into New York City. That is the best way to go. Yeah. So, yeah, nice a nice campground if you're looking for a quiet getaway and to do some fishing uh, on a nice pond. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great place, and probably I think kids would have a lot of fun there too. With I think so. All the outdoorsy kind of stuff they can do. So that's our review of Round Pond, the Army West Point Recreation Area, and uh, we hope you give it a try if you're eligible to get on there and camp and let us know how it goes. And until we see you on the road, safe, safe travels. travels.